Hi everyone, it's Rez here. On today's video, I want to talk about how I got a procurement job here in the UK. So, I got a job as a procurement officer and I'm working for the NHS Highland here in Inverness, uh, in Scotland. So, I did a video, uh, it must have been like, what, weeks ago, that I talked about how I got a job in the UK. Now, it was just a general video, like how I got a job here. So, I thought I'd somehow do a video that is a little bit specific to the type of job that I got here in the UK. Now, I'm doing this video for two specific reasons. The first one is to somehow, I don't know, should I say clear up a certain stereotype that I see among many professionals or many people that are from Africa? I don't know. I, I think I'll explain it and you get it. The second reason is just for, for those that are upcoming procurement professionals or not even only upcoming, but even seasoned, uh, experienced uh, procurement professionals that are looking for jobs outside Malawi or even just outside Africa or looking for opportunities elsewhere. I thought I'd just tell you how I got a job here in the UK. So the first reason, as I said, is because there's a certain stereotype about getting a job in your field of study outside, uh, let's say your country, let's say outside Malawi. So let me put it this way. When I got this job and I tell people like, oh, I've got a job in the UK. The first question that everyone asks me is, oh, is it like a care job? Is it like in the hospital? Like, or is it like a care job? So and when I have to say, no, it's a procurement job, it's in my field of study, people are like, oh, how did it happen? Like, how did, how did, how are you able to get a job? So the thing is, and, and let me, be, let me also just say this. It's funny because it's not only people in Malawi, but it seems it's kind of like, I don't know, African uh, mind in a way. Now I understand where that comes from. It's because maybe, um, or the last decades, what has, what has been happening is many people that got jobs outside their country, maybe they're coming to do care worker, uh, care, care jobs, not care worker, care jobs or things like those. But I'm here to tell you like even professional uh, jobs are there and it's possible for you to get one. I'll tell you what happened like what, a week ago or two. So I went to the shop, I met someone from uh, Africa, from Kenya. So he was like, oh, where are you working? I told him, oh, I'm working with NHS. Highland. The first thing was like, oh, a care job. I was like, no, I'm working as a procurement officer. I was like, oh, how? And another time I went to Glasgow, there was an activity there and met some people like, oh, I'm working for NHS Highland. They were like, oh yeah, so in care work. I was like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing like my field of study procurement. So that's the first reason why I thought I'd do this video. One, to let you know guys that you know what, you can be able to get a job in your field. It's possible. It works. It worked for me. And I'm sure it can also work for you. The second reason, is uh, for upcoming programming professionals or those other seasons. So let me just explain how I got this job. Maybe I'll talk about my education a little bit and how everything uh, played out. And I'll also talk about how I found procurement to be a little bit different here uh, in the UK and in Malawi now. I mean, they're bound to be different because, I mean, it's different countries, different rules and regulations, but you get what I mean when I say the differences. So. Uh, my studies, I did SIPs. Uh, for those that are in procurement, you know, SIPs is more like uh, the SCCA of accountants or the SEMA of management accountants or the SEUT for logisticians or the, like, just a professional course. So I did SIPs. It's Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply. And after after that, I did my first degree at University of Malawi, the Polytechnic, now MUBAS. Uh, so it's in procurement and logistics. Then after that, I did... Um, my master's in management and global supply chain management at NTU, uh, Nottingham Trent University here in the UK. That was 2019 to 2021. And did other certifications. I, I did what? CUT, yeah, Chartered Institute of Logistics and uh, Transport, as well as there's another management course. So kind of like this is, this is uh, how I have um, done school, in terms of school. And then uh, Work-wise, I, I didn't start off in procurement. I started off like as, a, like as a data entry clerk then I went into a procurement job, which I resigned within four months because I just felt like it wasn't working out for me. I resigned and I went back home. I was just saying. Then I got another job as a marketing and communications officer. And then after that, I got a job now into my field again as a procurement officer. And I worked there for four years. That was from 2015 to 2019. Guys, I love this place. Everyone that knows me, even my dad was like, you know what? We know you don't want to leave this place, but I had to leave to go to the school. Then after that, I went back to Malawi and then started working for an NGO as a logistics uh, management officer. Then after that, I got another job with DT Global, uh, which I was working as a procurement uh, specialist. Then while I was at, uh, while I was working as a procurement specialist, 
I was like, okay, let me look for jobs outside. And as you know, I've already said this. I said, oh, I, I just Googled procurement jobs in the UK. So there's this job that I'm working at the moment as a lead procurement officer for NHS Highland. And after this, there was also another job for, there was one university that I did. I, I think I just started the application, but I didn't finish it. So I applied for this job and yeah, I was called for interviews. And after I was called for interviews, uh, it was really good to be honest in terms of the actual interviews, everything was okay. Then after the interviews is when I was given an offer to do work for. Uh, I was given an offer with a visa that came like for five years sponsorship. So. Uh, from 2023 to 2028 yeah so that's what happened guys for me to be able to get a job uh, in procurement so now while i was when, when i got the offer i was in malawi i was I, like i was starting to read uh about like procurement here in scotland and everything now trust me guys i was trying to understand things but some of the things were a little bit totally different because i mean how we do procurement in malawi and how they do it here is totally different so i was reading but i wasn't getting it that much up until i came here and i started working so I'd say I was learning on the job and now I, I now started understanding things, how everything is done. I think the main difference that I've seen, uh, the procurement that is done in Malawi and the one that is done here in the UK, or not in the UK, let's say where I'm working at the moment, I say it's to do with maybe what, like what digitization of everything. Uh, here almost everything is kind of like digitized. Uh, well, while in Malawi we still do a little bit uh, paperwork here and there. So I said those are the main differences, but yeah. So guys, as I said, this video was simply just trying to say you can be able to get a job in procurement profession or in in any field pretty much that's what i wanted to say in this video i hope this video gives you like what uh some oomph. i don't know like i don't even know what that word means but it means some energy but it gives you some vibe for you to be for you to be able to apply for for jobs outside uh, malawi if you want to not only malawi but wherever you come from so i'll see you guys in the next video um yeah, peace.